Hello guys, that is the Gaming Whistle back again with another video. In today's video, I will be covering Equinox and Equinox Prime and their builds. Now, the thing is, I've been trying to work out what are the best builds for her. I've checked out a couple of YouTube videos and I and I was making it like sort of by myself as well. And I did conjure up two builds that are most useful. And that is going to be the sleep build, which is going to be good for uh, I guess XP and affinity, not affinity, but what it's called focus farming and the second one Which is gonna be a main build now honestly uh, You have of course she is a duality warframe so so she has a day and night form Which is really cool and you can switch it up with your first ability and her mostly used abilities are gonna be her uh, second ability which is gonna be rest which you're gonna be using to put enemies to sleep and maim which is going to be the damage and the nuke ability now her passive is going to be 10% of health orbs are converted into energy and 10% of energy orbs are converted to health which is really cool so let's go over the builds now at config a we have our rest build which is going to put enemies to sleep and allow you and open them up to finish our attacks so here we need max range and a little bit of duration so we need overextended cunning drift uh, auger reach and stretch for range streamline for efficiency and prime flow for more energy vitality for survivability just in case and prime continuity for that extra duration we have corrosive projection as our aura and then we have common frenzy which is a rest and rage augment killing an affected enemy causes the effect to spread to enemies within five meters for 100% of the abilities duration so this is the one that you're going to need because it is useful for this build now I'm just going to collect some energy we do not need level 150 enemies usually the enemies you're gonna be facing are around level 50 or 60 with this build because as I said you're mostly farming affinity so oh actually I was not supposed to actually pause the AI so uh, considering you need to be in your day form, keep that in mind. So just put an enemy, and as you can see, they all go to sleep. Pretty plain and simple. So if I can get out of this little thing, and they're opening up for finishes, and you get your stealth bonus, which means you're gonna get more and more efficiency, and of course, you're gonna get more focus. So pretty plain and simple, and it's gonna spread to enemies nearby. I will just. Uh, leave it so it actually spreads to them so I can show you how that works So we have like four more seconds to wait So I guess instead of vitality you could put on another duration mod if you really wanted it to so as you can see That guy is not affected, but once I kill this guy He will be and as you can see those two are not affected I don't think they are going to be because they're a little bit uh, further out than feel uh, five meters so yeah pretty plain and simple that is the build nothing really to show here uh, and uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna be moving on to the main uh, room a new king build that I want to show you guys so let me just kill these enemies real quick and there you go let's move on to the main build okay this is going to be pretty much sim similar except you're gonna be using United form so we have almost the same build on as on our last one but we have intensify instead of let me just check common frenzy so that is the only change that we have you do not need power strength for this you can only put on intensify and don't really need anything else so that is pretty much it now Although we're gonna switch to our night form by pressing our one key collecting some energy summoning level 50 enemies and pausing the AI just you know okay I need to clear that out and then summon them again why does it keep summoning only one okay so clear okay apparently I have no idea how this works honestly let me just go back here and then summon 20 of them and there you go Okay, so activate your third ability, which is going to increase your power strength, and then activate your four, which is going to activate the slash proc, and every single enemy inside of this little, uh, I guess, watery area is going to get affected by it. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind, the more health and armor the enemies have, the more that your counter and your top right next to your health is going to go up. So, we slowly kill enemies, and then as you can see, 
the, I guess, fourth ability is getting charged up. So we're currently at 86k damage. So I would prefer you target the strongest enemies inside of the room because they're going to give you uh, more of, I guess, what's called the stacks. So and we might press my four and everybody dies. So that is pretty much it. But let me just show you uh, higher levels. So let's say level 90. This should be the level around Sanctuary Onslaught. So again, activating my third and then pressing my fourth. Of course, you have to keep in mind, the higher the levels of the enemies, the more damage and stacks that you need to gather up, so keep that in mind. So, yeah, but basically, I wanted to say as well, that the higher enemies' armor are, as you can see, the, the stacks are going much, much faster because they have more health and more armor. So. Let me just kill a couple more enemies, and further uh, the further away the enemies are from you, the less damage they will take, so you have to keep that in mind. So as you can see, I got 464k, and I press my 4, and as you can see, that's what I said, they're not gonna die instantly, so, you know, uh, can of other enemies, yes, because of course they have lower health and armor values, but stronger enemies like these are not going to die as fast. Now, I didn't activate my 4 there, I kind of messed that up there, so I'm going to just kill a couple of these guys. And of course, the fewer enemies affected, the more that they're going to take. So, yeah, pretty plain and simple. That is uh, both of Equinox's builds. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Honestly, the weapons that I usually use with her are the Thiggish Prime, but mostly, or the Nikana Prime Reaper, maybe, but mostly the Cronin, so keep that in mind. And if you want to see those builds, let me just show you in a second. There you go, this is my Cronin Prime build, this is the one that I'm using. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. If I missed anything, maybe I said something wrong, but I, I don't think really I did. Uh, leave the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys subscribe, leave a like and comment. It would be greatly appreciated. This has been the Gaming Weasel. Over and out.